Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak to all my Muslim viewers. Hope you're all very well and fasting is going well. To my non-Muslim viewers, um, hello and hope you all had a great holiday. And uh, whichever festival you're celebrating, hope it went went well. Lockdown has officially lifted in the UK. We don't know for how long, but I was missing vlogging, so I just thought, you know, I'm going to spend Ramadan today with my parents, so and you know my siblings as well. I just thought, you know, I'll take you all along and see what a Ramadan family dinner looks like in the Ahmed's house. And today is my dad's 65th birthday and Allah is truly the greatest. I mean, I'm just so grateful that, you know, that my parents are with me for another year um, and everybody's safe. We, I mean, like, I don't know if you remember in my last vi uh, vlog video, I said that we all got COVID. It was the most terrifying experience of our lives. And... You know, I just wasn't sure about the, what the outcome was going to be. But, you know, Allah is the greatest. Also, my tw twins turn eight on Monday. So I just thought, we'll, so we just thought we'll have a joint family dinner at the Ahmed residence um, <laughs> uh, together. So, you know, so you'll see them in a minute getting dressed into that outfit that are bought, bought by their grandparents. So I just thought I'll take you all along. So let's go. A lot of times I say so, so I am um, I officially apologize. I really don't understand why I can't think of other words other than so. Anyway, let's go. Hello. How old have you turned? Why are you showing two fingers then? There, that's it. There's their dresses. What do you think of your dresses? I like it. Nice. It's really lovely. Technically, it's not your birthday today, though. <laughs> on how to make shingaras it's like a punjabi style samosa so as you can see you roll out the dough into a circle and then you cut down the middle and that makes two shingaras then the straight side you fold in one side like that put water on and then fold the other side and it so it turns into a triangle slash cone and then you put the the filling in and this is how you close it. You use water to close each side. And basically you turn it into a pyramid. Something like that. And then you put flour on the bottom of it so it sticks together. And the filling doesn't come out. And there we have it. Another quick tutorial on how to make onion bhajis. We call it fiazi, some people call it piojo. Um, basically, you have to soak some red split lentils for at least an hour or two. So once they've soaked, you blend them to a medium consistency where you know there's some texture to it so you can taste it. As you can see in the yellow bowl, she hasn't blended it to the point where it's runny.
I'm so sorry about that. But anyway, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully, there should be more vlogs soon. It was our first day today. Stop. Okay. Anyway, subscribe, please. Thank you.